Hello my cuties! So well, cuties is here. I am again with another lesson video about hooded eyes. And as you can see, I have got winged eyeliners. How can you wear winged eyeliners with hooded eyes? Well, keep on watching and I will teach you how simple that is. Let's get started. Hello my gorgeous darlings out there. I am in this version of hooded eyes and other eye problem solutions gonna show you how you can draw with hooded eyes this beautiful winged eyeliner. Now this is not a winged eyeliner at all. It's some kind of a staircase. It's tip 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 tip. As you can see, there is nothing straight about it, but ta ta magic. And I am going to show you this easy magical trick that will change your life forever because you are going to make winged eyeliners as much and as big and as wide as you want them to be with this simple trick. The only thing you need is preferably a felt tip liner or one of these, but mine is empty. So these with the very soft brushes are the best, but it's empty. What I need, as I said, is a felt tip liner. And I today used for this eye this one. Doesn't matter what which model it is, you can use a normal one like this, but this happens to be a purple one. So I'm just gonna show you what we normally do. I am going to draw this outer line already the same as on that side. So that we'll have that the same. Now what we normally do is we do this and we start in the center laying our felt tip flat against our lashes. We do our inner corner and build that up to the thickness that we want our liner to be. And now I am connecting my line and the line on top of my lash line. And it needs a little moment to dry. You'll see the result very fast because it's a beautiful liner. I am not going in any discussion. This is a very beautiful line if it's a little bit sharper on the end, but this is a perfect beautiful winged eyeliner. But if you have hooded eyes and you look normal, this part of the hood is gonna hang over that corner and you're gonna have line, nothing and, and a tip. Or if you have very hooded eyes, the socket is completely gonna cover that. So you're never gonna get that you're gonna have this. You see the difference? This with a hooded eye doesn't work. Now I cannot show you this enough because my eyes aren't hooded enough but once you really have a very outspoken hood that's what you have. 
never one line always line bubble and then a line that's almost cut in there too you will never get your eyeliner for a hooded eye if you do it that way it just doesn't work because we have to cheat nature now to cheat nature for this is as simple as one two three now I want to have that so first of all I'm gonna draw my line a bit thicker starting in the corner and that you can do with your eye tilted up a bit to the first third of your eye you can do this and make sure you have the thickness that you want and you stop before you're in the middle then you look straight ahead in your mirror because you do have that flop there and then you're gonna come in little titty 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 bitty titty 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 strokes you're gonna come really to the shape that you want so I want to have it there and I want to have it connect there and the center needs to be a little bit higher there and then I want to have that okay so now let's do this you have the strangest thing ever but that is our first stair as you see you get that straight and it comes down and then you have this part that you have to connect to and then you just fill it all in working your tip off and the thickness on two sides evening out that's gonna be for last but now we fill in this gap that we created on this side and then we look straight ahead and we have a thicker version of this but that's what I wanted to do to show you that you need a shape like this or like this to have a thinner or a thicker line this one is thicker and now that we look straight we can make our tip perfectly how we want it and this may even come a tiny little bit higher and depending on your eye shape you can just make one line and have the perfect shape but when I want to do a smaller I have this staircase if I want to go bigger, I have this one stripe that is coming down straight from there. And when I open my eyes, there is your wonderful, beautiful eyeliner. I'm going to do the same on that side and put on some mascara and then I will be back. Oh God, I love it. Look at that! That's a perfect winged eyeliner if you have hooded eyes. Now I know these wings look strange on me because my eyes aren't hooded that bad and I had to go very high to find my hood but if you really have very hooded eyes you don't have to do it this big because your hood is hanging lower so you can just make a small line over the folds of your hood and you have the perfect liner but I had to go very large to even get to my hood to line over it so the less hooded eyes you have the harder it is to do the more your eyes are hooded the easier this is sounds totally unlogical but it is true so this is 
a beautiful winged eyeliner with hooded eyes. Now I'm gonna do mascara and I'm gonna give it a squeeze because mascara and falsies whatever you put over it will even hide more of the fact that you have lifted your hood by faking it. <laughs> if you can't make it, fake it. That's typical makeup and it's a very good saying. If you can't make it, just fake it and you will always have a great makeup. Now I'm gonna see if there's still some life in this telescopic mascara. And there is. And I'm gonna do nothing on my lower lash line because this is all about that beautiful winged eyeliner. Now in my next video I'm going to go teach a cut crease. Cut creases with winged eyeliners and combined with a nice lower lash line liner. So actually that will be the final look in these lessons and it will give I hope enough help to you guys out there so that you can do any look you want perfectly if you have hooded eyes or droopy eyes or any other problems or uneven eyes you can hide it all and if you have any questions what do you want to learn next what do you want help with let me know on my Facebook on my Instagram down below in the comments here let me know because I want to help as much as I can to help you with your facial or eye problems now I'm gonna take some falsies not the biggest but a normal pair of falsies gotta cut it open though as it's a new one Whee. Come fly away, let's fly away with me. La 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 la. Ain't that terrible? Now, why is there nothing coming out? I still don't have it open, and I don't see a damn thing because I'm not wearing contacts. And stupid oh, that's me today Not that it makes me feel any different anyway But I'm stupid today Okay, I've got a very sharp tweezer here I'm gonna poke it I am going to poke it Right there where the lash glue is I immediately clean it off or everything is sticking together everything and knowing me that would definitely be the case now hopefully something will come out don't tell me you're dried out or so why aren't you coming out of your tube that's something you gotta explain to me Hello, 
it's as if it's gonna explode any moment now. And I dropped my false <laughs> I'm under the impression that that is a very dry lash glue. <laughs> that is not normal. It's not normal. and give it a good shake. <laughs> oh my god, it had to happen with me, yeah. Phew, now it's coming out normal. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get somewhere with this. <laughs> Oh my freaking god, how is it even possible that it always happens with me? Now I'm gonna apply some lip gloss. Now, you know, I just have put on one coat of mascara and now I'm gonna take normal mascara, not the telescopic one, but the thicker one and apply another coat. If you do a lot on the upper eye, I prefer to do a lot on the lower lash line too then. But I'm not gonna do it this time. This time I'm just gonna work on the upper part there. Now these lashes are still getting tacky and with this glue you can see that. And that's something I like. Now what I wanna do with this eye look is you can see we have this space. Why not just put a little tiny touch of eyeshadow there? Doesn't have to be much, doesn't have to be too bright. But let's take for instance this pinkish shimmery eyeshadow and just bring that and just with a brush from the corner over the moving eyelid, not on the black. and just feather it upwards over the hood because otherwise it's not visible and if you do this you can do that in advance because we now do it later because we had to learn how to do our wing first but now as you see I can flick it and bring it, if I look straight ahead, high enough, in a half egg shape. Now normally you do your eye makeup and then do your liner as I said. So what you can do is do all your makeup once you've got the hang of this wing and just do your wing after so this is just a working off and if you want the tiniest touch under the eyelashes cleaning off this brush or taking a cleaning on and I'm taking a very shimmery color to do my highlight
inner tear duct. Gonna pop on my falsies. And on the uh, correct side is always easy too. <laughs> give them a good push upwards so this even more makes it invisible that you have been cheating nature and making you look like a queen just a uh, spritz here and there There you go, taking off my headband, making sure I'm dry, I'm gonna put on a earring and I'll be back. So this is the final result of the wearing eyeliner for hooded eyes. I hope you'll be very successful in trying. I can't wait to see any pictures or anything or comments if you have tried how it worked out. Because cheating nature can give a super result. I really want to thank you all for watching this tutorial with me. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Leave some nice comments down below. Give me some thumbs up. Ring the notification bell to see whenever I upload a new video. And for me, there's as always just one thing left to say. And that is, my love for makeup is spread all over to you. And I really hope to see you again soon in one of my coming videos. So for now, bye!